And uh, thereafter, I request you to submit to lay your submission. To lay your submission and then be circulated to the honorable colleagues who are here. For the record purposes, my name is Juliet K. Subichi Nyamatama. I'm the woman member of parliament for Rakai district. I was first elected in 2016 and second Clarification elected chair. in... Clarification chair. The principal witness is supposed to give he, her evidence when her witnesses also are around in this, in this room. Well, thank you. That is... Uh, dear witnesses, Well, is presenting our case and also lay. Then thereafter, for witness in the absence of the, the other witnesses, the four witnesses. It's just a matter of procedure, Chair, that is very poignant. It is okay. Chair, proceedings is testifying under normal rules of procedure, under normal circumstances. The rest of the witnesses have to be out under normal circumstances. Well, for the avoidance of doubts, the accused, I request that uh, let those other witnesses uh, march out to allow Honorable Subi to present her case and then lay on table that which he is submitting. Uh, uh, uh. Abazenga Abajulizi, Genoxo cut from Yoko Aweru, or when you matter Japan and Masonga Batuise. Yes, somebody is going to take care of them. Yeah, you, you make sure, they are, make sure that they, they are far from the, from the door. Okay, please. Okay, please. Can you proceed, Honorable Subi? Who? Let him finish now. Chair and uh, honorable members of this committee, for record purposes, my name is Juliet K. Suvich Nyamatama. I'm the woman member of parliament for Rakai district. I was first elected in 2016 and uh, elected for the second time in 2021. I am a daughter. I'm a wife to Mr. Bravo Katunji. And we are blessed with two beautiful children. I'm also a guardian to many children that I help in their school endeavors. Honorable Chair and Honorable Members of this committee, on the 9th of October, 2023, I received disturbing messages on my phone as a form of WhatsApp and many phone calls. And my phone number is 0785-938792 and uh, these messages were indicating that uh, 
a one honorable Zake was in my constituency. Excuse me, are you submitting the name, I mean, the telephone contact which contact, your phone? My phone, phone contact that was receiving those disturbing messages. Okay, please. So I was told that uh, Honorable Zake, while in an area of Ramagwa Town Council at Ramagwa Playground in Buyamba Constituency, Rakai District, addressing a gathering of football match in which he was reported that it was reported that Honorable Zake procedure, used chair, procedure. Yes. Uh, chair, again, under the normal rules of process of her or his own knowledge, not reading a statement. I have not seen it anywhere in the proceedings where a witness comes with a statement either in a digital form or hard copy and read it before a tribunal. So procedurally that would be incorrect. Well, thank you. <clears throat> I think the first any other evidence or evidences she can be asked to lay them. Chair, I think you have not submission. He's saying that the witness is reading from the iPad what she is testifying. And procedurally right. If I'm a witness or if I'm giving evidence, I don't need to read from the iPad or in a written document. Everything should be in my brain because I'm conversant with what happened. So I think that is on a, uh, his lordship. Reading about reading or making a statement. Because my, my statement was very clear. Present your case. I did not uh, say you make it uh, read it either from the answer or wherever. The source of that information, it is with her. So you, you, you proceed. Allow her. Uh, Honorable Chair, I wanted actually the Lord Mayor to give us evidence of what he's talking about in as far as our rules are concerned because I don't think that being orderly and reading something that is orderly is out of order. I do not think that you think that I'm reading that I am married with two children, that I do not know that. I am only trying to be organized. And this committee, I request that if I'm above the rules, then rule me out according to our rules. I am only being organized. You saw the video. I wouldn't even be saying anything if, if, if anything. The video is clear. Uh, but anyway, thank you for your Procedure permission. Chair. Procedure, Chair. I don't know why the witness is being eaten. If you are to read a pre-prepared text, you circulate it. You have not circulated what you are reading to us. And I want to suggest, Chair, since she's circulating to us, her pre-prepared statement, she would circulate it for us to refer to later, and then she, she submits, she speaks to us. That's my can, can, can you lay, uh, you know, uh, can, can you lay that which you are submitting, or what you are presenting to this committee? I request that you lay them. Or you can even lay yourself it, if it is in your, in your memory. But I think it is a written text. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. For record purposes, this is why I chose a written text, so that we are more organized. And uh, I beg to lay on table my statement, Juliet Sovich Nyamatama's statement, in as far as this case is concerned. Thank you. Can I continue? You proceed. Okay, thank you so much. I want to thank this committee for playing the video again and again to make sure that uh, the honorable members of this committee are well informed of what I'm talking about. According to the video that you've heard, the statements and the voice in the video were made by the honorable Zake, as clearly seen in the clip. Secondly, But I will let it first circulate to everyone. Also, whether she put it there on uh, 
in front of her is already on this table. But you were throwing. Please, let's give opportunity to this uh, honorable, I mean, uh, Subi. Honorable to, Chair, to make a state that the voice in that video clip, as you have heard and seen, was by the Honorable Zake. Secondly, the statements uttered out by the Honorable Zake against my person are false. Thirdly, the statements by the Honorable Zake have greatly affected my esteem and admiration in society as a woman member of parliament for Rakai district and also among my fellow members of parliament and my family members, but mostly at national level. Uh, concern number four, the video clip went viral on all social media platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, X, which is Twitter, online blogs like TikTok and many others. This has caused many social media users to use all sorts of ill-found comments on disparaging my reputation. The statements by the Honorable Zake have exposed me to public laughter, indescribable hatred, mockery, and ridicule. The statements were so demeaning, very humiliating, very derogative, and unacceptable, especially coming from a fellow member of parliament against me. The statements in issue were made clear in the hearing of third parties the parties were recording him. He was using a loudspeaker, and therefore knew or ought to have known that later these statements were going to be circulated on all social media platforms. The statements in the issue by the Honorable Zake mentioned my name. Procedure, Chair. And everyone who was Procedure, listening to Chair. him knew that the statements were referring to me. And Procedure all my chair. acquaintances knew that the statements in Procedure the video clip chair. were referring okay. to me. Hello? Procedure. Procedure chair. Chair, I mean the, the ruling you made, that she is at liberty to present her case in the manner she is doing with a written script. I think it would only be fair if this side is also favored with a copy of that written statement of the case, the written complaint being presented. She's proceeding in the marathon presentation and we are not favored with a copy. Honorable Subi is making, you're reading a, a, a typed uh, message. You recall that in the video clip during the plenary, she did not read the statement the way she's reading. She just stated. She, uh, she made her, work, her presentation during the plenary. Let us, let us allow her to make that submission, and then we compare with the answered recording. If it is what? If it is uh, the, the, the same thing which she made mention during the, during the plenary. During from her heart, from her mind. Allow her to read that, and then we compare the two. Whether the first statement made by her and now the second statement being presented by her would be the same. And that's why I'm allowing her. Allowed? Chair, my worry, since we have senior, our chairperson, who is very conversant with the law, my worry is our witness, who is a member of parliament, tomorrow to be challenged on giving a written evidence, I would humbly request our senior chair, who is also a legal consultant, to guide us so that we don't give any room, honorable his lordship, Elias Rukwago, tomorrow to challenge us. Because Procedure, I think, thank, would thank be. you. They would freely challenge. The statements issued by the Honorable Zake mentioned my name, and everyone who was listening to him knew that the statements were referring to me. Honorable Subi. Yes, please. 
uh, you make it clear that you have allowed the 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 council representing Honorable Zake and his team and Honorable colleagues to read what you are reading or the statement which you are presenting now. Honorable Chair, I have no issues with uh, Honorable Zake accessing this statement and that's why I'm reading it. No, and that's uh, the why same I'm statement you have Chair. laid? Chair. Yes. We have supp the, the statements uh, by the Honorable Zake implied that I am engaged in, com in, on, in commission of criminal offense of prostitution against the provisions of section 139 of the Penal Code Act, whose punishment is imprisonment for a period of seven years. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable and the derogatory to any woman in this era to be referred to as a sex worker. My prayer as Honorable Chair and Honorable Members is that uh, the Honorable Zake is subjected to a thorough mental evaluation to any of the national mental facilities to ascertain the mental state of the member given his conduct in and out of parliament. My second prayer is that the Honorable Zake is suspended from the House and all its precincts for the rest of the, sec of the session of the, this 11th Parliament. The third is that the Honorable Zake be ordered to render an equivocal apology to me before the whole House retracting the defamatory statements as contained in the video clip. And lastly, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, Parliament must consider putting in place stringent measures and sanctions relating to a conduct of a member in another person's constituency. Thank you so much, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, for this opportunity. Well, thank you. Your prayers shall not form our free, and you have been free, to state your prayers. But the prayers shall not entrust um, these committee members uh, to, to recommend Parliament on what you have uh, laid on before us. In any case, we want to give opportunity to the Honorable uh, Zake to cross-examine you. And then thereafter, we shall call or invite your witnesses to come. We understand that they, they, they have traveled, they have been coming from Rakai for several times, and it has been very expensive for you to foot the bills for their transport fares. And we shall, if possible, and, uh, we shall allow the witnesses to be cross-examined uh, before, so that they, they, they can travel back. Honorable Chair. Thank you very much, Chair. I think we'll go ahead with the cross-examination. Uh, we don't have an opinion as of now. And then thereafter, then thereafter we can see how we can proceed. Having heard from the Honorable Suvi Chinyamatama, the Honorable Zake, Honorable Chinyamatama is there for cross-examination. Did you say your name is Juliet Kesuvi Chinyamatama? Uh, for the purpose record, uh, for the record purposes, my name is Juliet K. Suvi Chinyamatama, woman member of parliament, Rakai district. Yes. So that's the name you carry even on your national ID? Uh, yes. Can you confirm the second time it's the name on your national ID? Yes. Can I have a look at it? Uh, I will only give a copy because I don't think I carried my ID, but I will give a copy. I will submit it officially to the clerk, not you. Do you have the copy right now with you? I have a copy on my phone. Please. Can you share with the, with the clerk? And secondly, 
the gist of the matter before us, we actually saw it on the video, and it was translated very well. I wonder whether uh, cross-examination is allowed, but in, a, in, a, in any case, if the, the evidence once is not readily available here, would it be procedurally right that the committee can continue with uh, other but, questions such that it doesn't consume so much more our time here today? Uh, I've already shared it with the clerk. Well, uh, the clerk will uh, share share that with the, the Honourable uh, Lord Mayor. Just want to have a look at it. Yes, just look at it. Just have a look at it. So that the Honourable Council can okay. confirm that she is the right person before us. That's not the reason, Chair. I can see uh, Subi Kinyamatama Juliet. Are you the one? Is that the card? They do not share, take share, share, they do share, not share, put abbreviations on IDs and passports and whatever. It's okay. Let's, okay. Let, let, let's just share the card with the, the council. That's not a problem. Can you confirm K is not there? Uh, I think for any land person, you should know that Can uh, abbreviation not there? abbreviations are not allowed on bank details. Uh, not allowed on a bank card. Not allowed on a national ID. Not allowed on a passport. J just confirm. So you are confirming that it is not there. As it is yeah, I only person. wanted to give a reason also as to why it's not there. We know. We know. We know. This committee knows some of those details. Can you also confirm that the name Chinyamatama is not on the voters register? Voters register. Is it there or not? Where is, is the voters register? Chair, am I under cross-examination? Examine me out of my, my, my case. You write to electoral commission to confirm. Okay. Let, let's do this. So first of all, I would like to request both of you to calm down. I am it, 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 it is not necessary to I have exchanges. We are trying to, as a committee, to come to the bottom of this case. Okay? Just calm down. You, if you are confirming, you confirm. If you can't confirm, you say, I can't confirm. And then we proceed. Then the rest you leave it to the committee. I want to confirm that my national register is with the Electoral Commission, and whoever wants to know, maybe this committee should consult. I am not in position. I'm not the one supposed to be confirming that. Thank you. So, uh, if I may ask, are you a registered voter in Rakai? I think that was electoral commission that nominated me and parliament where I work as a member of parliament. So for your case, you know or you don't know whether you are a registered voter in Rakai district? That is a redundant question for me. I'm a woman member of parliament for Rakai no, district. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, can I say it again? Please calm down. We want to proceed. Just answer the question. Are you a registered voter in Rakai or not? And we proceed. Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, I am a woman member of Parliament for Rakai District, and there is no way I can be a woman member of Rakai when I'm not a registered voter in Rakai. Thank you. 
you were uh, appealing to common sense. <laughs> Proceed, no, no. Chair. Uh, I think what we do, uh, I, we've said it here before, you ask, you ask the question, the question is satisfactory or not, that one you leave it to us. Okay? Proceed, Chair. Yes, Honorable? Uh, he could have a reason why he's asking. So let's proceed. Chair, let me put it differently and for the very last time. Can you tell this Honorable Committee the full name, the full particulars of your name on the voters' register? If you... We also need to respect each other. He asked me my name. I mentioned it. Asked me for my national ID, mentioned it. It was read. My statement is clear. If you're critiquing what is on my statement, make it clear. I gave you everything. I have said it a hundred times. And I am Juliet Suwi Chinyamatama, Juliet K. Juliet K. Suwi Chinyamatama. The order doesn't matter. I know the law. Don't push it any further. We shall handle it at an appropriate stage. Let me move on. Can you confirm you did not attend the gathering you are talking about, the impounded gathering of 9th at Iwamagua? Honorable Chair, like I said, and it is so clear in my statement, that I was told, meaning that I was not there. Just confirm that no, she you... Has said, she has okay. Said, okay. Okay. Let's proceed. And who in particular told you uh, what happened there? Uh, thank you for that question. Thank you, honorable members. This takes us to why our witnesses are here. I, like I stated in my statement that I got WhatsApp messages. And the one Kauma, who, is, who was before us, who is outside, is the one who called me and also sent me the video clip. And he's here to testify to what I, I stated in my so, statement. Thank you. Wonderful. It's Kauma who made the recording of that video clip. Can you I confirm? I said it is so clear that he sent me. Is he the one who recorded it? He no, will no, explain no, no, no. where he got it this. from. The video was sent to her by a Kauma. Is it Kauma? Yes. And Kauma is here to testify. Mm -hmm. So that can't be a question to her. It can only be a question to the one who is coming, because then who sent it? C can I put it differently, Chair? No, but if you are, don't put the same very question differently. Let's clear the first question. The question is, the video was sent by a Kauma. That Kauma is here. She wasn't there. So you can't be, she can't know whether it is Kauma recorded or not. Mary Parasit, please. Do you know who recorded the video? Uh, thank you, Chair and Honorable Members. Like I stated, how I got to know everything. So some of the questions are not meant for me. If you see my statement, if I knew the person who had recorded the video, I should have put it here. I put the person who sent me the video. Yes. Chair, through you, I would like to re-echo what the Senior Honorable Chair already said. To ask Honorable Juliet to come down and don't be combatant. Why you need to say yes or no? To simply say yes, don't say like I said, like I said. Just say yes or no, don't be combatant. The committee will be able to analyze the information and come out with the most fair opinion according to the committee. So I request you humbly to come down, not to be in a combatant mode, to say yes or no when I need to say yes or no, to say humble appeal to you. Uh, you know, you, you, what we have been asking the Honorable Chinyamatama to do, we don't want to ask council so to do it. <laughs> <laughs> to come down also. 
Le, 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 eh? Okay, yeah. The, so le, le, let's proceed in aha, uh -huh, like now, like now. Uh, like now, please proceed like you are now, not what. Anyway, are you Chamatama? Is Chamatama your name? No, Honorable Chair, can I explain my no? Wonderful. Yes, please explain your no. Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Chair. Questions are made to throw you... Uh -uh. Just explain, explain that. your no. Don't, don't I am try not Chamatama. Uh -huh. I want to explain that I am the only woman member of parliament in Rakai district. There is no any other woman member of parliament whose name is closed Chinyamatama Chamatama. So when someone says in a video clip and mispronounces your name but meaning you by saying don't bring back those MPs, I am the only woman member of parliament in Rakai district. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let, let, let's see as, uh, let Are you Narumans? I actually thought that uh, as, as I am not Narumansi. Can I explain? No, we'll allow you our time when we'll we later, ask later. the questions. We'll, we'll ask the question to explain that. Just answer his question as there. I am not Narumansi and I will never be. Okay. And here, you are talking of allegations of prostitution. Are you a prostitute? Honorable Chair, I only talked about the allegations because that was the allegation in the video clip. That's how I talk about it. I am not a prostitute and I will never be. When you received that video, and probably listen to it. Did the voice in that video say it to be that of the Honorable Zake in any way talk about prostitute, prostitution? Honorable members, for clarification, I pray that you I pray that you replay, because that question may be he didn't hear the video. I pray that you replay the we will video, replay, but and so that question. answer will be answered. Just answer the question, the video will replay, because we replayed it, we have it, and by the time we reach a conclusion, we will have it replayed for ourselves. Okay? Just answer the question. Chair, and I request that he repeats his question. Repeat your question. The voice attributed, I mean, said it to be one of Honorable Zake in your statement, as captured in that video clip. In any way, talk about prostitution. The voice and the image of the person talking, who is Honorable Zake in that video, talks about prostitution. Echanyamatama, whatever he called it, an MP from Rakai district who seems to be selling her body or herself in parliament. In my interpretation, and maybe the interpreter will help us, selling your body means prostitution. So did he say you are selling your body? Are you sure? He said, I look like I think they should play it back because I didn't Did cram. You say so that you are you're not your going body. to force me to say what I don't remember. Let it be played so that I if hear you what exactly remember, you he say said. So. If you don't remember, you say so. You say you don't remember what exactly he said. I cannot say I don't remember when I have an opportunity to ask this committee to play it so that we know what exactly he said. It's you who is complaining and you should be knowing what you are complaining about and what you are saying is... Uh, denigrated you. I will repeat what he said. Okay. Oh, wonderful. So you interpret it Aringe in the best yetunda language. Two questions. First, did you understand that to be a statement of fact or a statement of opinion? I think it is both. 
It's it is both. It's both a statement of fact and opinion. Yeah, to him, according to him who was talking about me, maybe he has facts. And maybe it is, I don't know, it is up to him to tell us. So in your understanding, if one says, Aringa eyetunda mu parliament, you understand it to be a statement of fact? Mr. Chair, can we have that interpreted in English so that we can also follow? Because this committee doesn't comprise of the Luganda-speaking people only. Into a Luganda conversation. The, the, what the Honorable colleague is requesting is that we have an interpretation of what you people are speaking in your mother tongue. Please go ahead and interpret. No, I wanted to collect it, Chair. Let's, let, the record has to capture exactly what you people have said because we are going to lie on that record when we are making decisions. Yeah, I, I was making reference to the Hansard Chair, which has got the English... The, hold on. There are two... There are two what? They are two with you and Honorable Chinyamatama have spoken some Luganda words. We want to know what they meant or what you people meant. Then we can proceed either way. Can we have that interpreted? Please say that again. Uh, that I seem to be no, selling we, myself. You will want it in, in, in uh, the in one you've spoken before. That's what one. Capture. So the word I spoke that alinge yetunda means that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's not you to interpret Just it. Just speak as it is, and then we get the, the formal interpretation of what you've said. I think you're right. I repeat what I said so Ex that... Uh, yes, uh, so, for purposes of our record. Alinge yetunda mu parliament. She seems like one who sells her body in parliament. Okay. She seems like one who sells her, her body, body in parliament. In parliament. Or resembles those who sell their no, body. No, 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 you... you <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> we leave it at that. We'll, those ones will be our interpretation. <laughs> okay, proceed. Yeah, proceed. So I would like to go with the official translation and pose my question, Chair, then, uh, in relation to that. It's on the answer of 12 October, page 10,557. And this is what, after the transcription, the translation made on the official, re official record. She's, she's always there as if she is selling her body in the parliament. This is the statement I would like us to go through with you on the Honorable Chiamatama. As if she is selling her body in the parliament. Did you understand that to be a statement of fact mm -hmm. or opinion? She has answered that. No, she hasn't. No, she said she did. The other one was in Uganda, at which you... No, she said it is both. I mean, okay. I hope you are recording. It's better you record such that we follow each other, because we already have it. Can I ask you to help me record? You want to... Ask to, to, to record for you? Because if you ask the same question and the answer has been given and you ask it again, it doesn't make sense. But you know, the, the chair cannot, please, cannot please, become please, your Mr. personal Mr. Lukwago, uh, OPA. Mr. Lukwago, let's, let's cl clear this. Honorable Zake, we are here on a very serious business. Serious business. Chair? We don't take it lightly for anybody to second the chair will keep help me record. Please. So proceed with your cross examination. Chair, permit me to end there. I'll ask the client to pick it up from there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are equally sorry because With your permission, it is not I the chair that. to record a statement for you to write on your behalf. It's okay. You see, this committee does not.
conscript lawyers for you, Ms. Honorable uh, Zake. It is your choice, the lawyer of your choice. If you have a, a client to represent you, good enough. If you don't, good enough.